I love, oh, I love as in hate, uh, woke corporations. Uh, we've seen quite a lot of it recently. We've seen Sainsbury's uh, um, uh, advertising that racists shouldn't come to our stores. We are a diverse store. As if, you know, the KKK were forever gathering in the cereals aisle of uh, the local Sainsbury's, you know, sort of big risk of bumping into them. Um, these totally fake and, and really and quite and divisive games being played by woke corporations. Uh, it's, by the way, it's becoming increasingly hard to know where, where you can buy your groceries in the UK if you're a reasonable person who does, doesn't like walk, uh, woke corporations because one by one they've been falling. Um, and Marks and Spencers um, hasn't done the worst, but they did all that crap like the LGBT sandwich uh, um, to celebrate Pride Month, where they made a special sandwich which they promoted, which had I know, lettuce, guacamole, something else, and tomato. Anyhow, it was some soggy mess, but they said it was for gay pride. So anyhow, I mean, I, if you buy your sandwiches, depending on the acronym fitting LGBT, I suppose it's not the best way to do a recipe. But anyway, Marks and Spencers has done that. Sainsbury's has done that. Many of the banks have done that. But uh, yeah, the co-op, um, uh, which hasn't been terrifically governed in recent years, you might have noticed, uh, not least when it turned out the head of their board was a, a crazy old crystal meth addict. Uh, uh, um, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, we had great fun in, uh, he was a Methodist minister as well, I think we ran the headline, The Spectator, on the front page about him with the, the uh, Crystal Methodist. I was, I was quite pleased with that one. Um, but he, he, he was head of the, 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 uh, the co-op bang, and the, and the whole thing was terribly badly run. And, uh, and now they've come out as sort of woke co-op, because, of course, that's what everyone wants when they're buying their, their uh, pork pies and, uh, and milk uh, of a morning. Um, the the, the co-op uh, uh, recently got into a fight with a spectator because somebody somebody who ran the social media account clearly of the co-op responded to a single complainant who said, "How dare I was so disappointed to see that you've advertised in the Spectator this week because the Spectator runs anti-trans material." I think the person in question appeared to be um, objecting not for once, I think, to me, um, but to a number of very distinguished left-wing feminists we've published, such as Suzanne Moore, who have written very eloquently and, and brilliantly and, and wittily uh, about these issues in The Spectator, because uh, of course we, we publish people from across the political spectrum, as long as they can write well and, uh, and you know, brilliantly, you know, we, we, we have a whole range of voices. And uh, anyhow, this person complained about us having the temerity to publish such women. And um, the co-op uh, social media account said, oh, well, uh, this was a terrible oversight. We're so sorry, it won't happen again. Uh, um, and we won't be advertising with the spectator again. Well, um, that got the ire up of quite a lot of us. Um, uh, um, our chairman, uh, Andrew Neal, um, is, is, isn't a pushover. And he doesn't like that sort of thing. And he won't have, he, he quite rightly just will not have advertisers trying to dictate the editorial policy of the magazine they advertise in. It's an outrageous uh, attempt to encroach upon the free press. And he said, well, actually, it doesn't matter because you're banned from advertising with us. We don't want the co-op adverts. Um, uh, our editor, Fraser Nelson, took the same line. I, 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 and uh, I uh, went in as a uh, sort of a more paramilitary wing of the spectator uh, in a uh, jihad against the co-op who I'd like to think just couldn't understand why these three Scotsmen <laughs> had, had been had been woken from their lairs. 